Hey guys, it's Man Behind the Cannon. Today, and we're going to be doing some 3D camera tracking inside After Effects. Um, this is a pretty simple tutorial, but it opens the door to some pretty cool effects and uh, tricks you can pull out of your hat. Here I got my shot, it's just handheld, so it's shaky, and I want to drop an explosion into it. But I don't want the explosion to be moving around with the, with the movement of the camera, I want it to be steady like it's actually there. So you use this thing called a 3D camera tracker. So here we are. I've got my two clips that I want to use, my explosion and then my uh, clean plate or whatever you want to call it. Drop it into a new comp. Um, then you want to come over to your effects and presets. You might already have it um, in your uh, toolbar on the side here, but if not, you can just type in 3D camera tracker. It'll pop up. You can just drag and drop this onto the clip you want to track. Make sure your playhead's at the beginning of your clip, and After Effects will automatically start to analyze your piece. Over here, in the uh, dialog window here, we have it's initializing right now, but we have some options we can go through and customize how our 3D, 3D camera tracker works. All these extra options just helps the camera tracker do a bit better job and give you a solid track um, each time. So. We did a pretty self-explanatory, I'll show you when we get to there, um, but you can adjust your solve method for what type of panning and moving around you're doing with your camera. Um, you can use a detail analysis, that 3D camera tracker will do a much more in-depth job, which will take more time. As you can see right now, we're at 36 out of 172 frames, it's going through for this 7 second piece. So. So let this guy run. Um, this is analyzing, so you could, if you wanted to, jump over to a new uh, a new composition or something and keep working on that, and this would keep running in the background. Just pretty neat. Uh, multitasking. <laughs> We're almost there. Uh, Alright, then once the camera tracker's gone through all your frames, this banner will pop up and it'll say solving camera. Okay, and here we are. So, as you can see, your clip should be littered with small dots. Basically, all that happens is 3D Camera Tracker looks at your clip and finds points of contrast or different colors um, and puts points on those. And then those points, you can create a null object and that null will stay in that location as you scrub through. So as you see, as I move along here, my computer would stop lagging. Most of the points stay pretty solid in their location. Um, obviously, so you got some new ones popping up and some disappearing as the camera moves. So when you select your track, you want to go through and select a section of points that doesn't move very much. Um, and if it does, you can delete one. You can delete them by just selecting it, hitting delete. Okay, so if you uh, click outside and you lose your points, just go up here and hit the camera tracker back up in your effects control panel. So I'm kind of like in this group right here. You can hold shift and kind of lasso a bunch of them. Uh, that'll get you that'll get you a group. Then once you've selected your points you want to use, you can grab your target and move it around and see if it's on the plane that you like. So this one's a bit too angled for my purposes, so I'm going to try I'm going to try something like that, which is okay. Let's try something like this. And that looks considerably better. So right now you can move your target around and make sure it's on the right plane you want so that your image appears in the right orientation and right perspective how you want it. So I'm just going to go with that. This uh, selection of points here. Um, you're going you're gonna to want to right click and hit uh, create null and camera. Also you can use the same method to create text and solids, and you can track those onto your footage. Um, for this case, we're going to use a null. So then, select your null here in your timeline, and as you scrub through, you'll see that it stays pretty, pretty consistent. So now, if your null was jumping around at this point, you'd probably want to go back and reselect some points or delete them. So we've got our track here. I've got my explosion. Just need to bring it up above my main clip. Just select this to blending mode screen, and this is the important part. So now down here, 
you've got your um, some buttons, switches, and modes. If you don't see this page, make sure you click this button down here to toggle between different options. Uh, make your explosion or whatever you're dropping into your clip 3D. This will this will desize it or uh, adjust the size. So you're gonna have to go back through and change it a bit. Um, so then you got these things called parents and these little things called pick whippets. So what you want to do is you want to hold down shift, grab the pick whippet, and snap it to the null. That way now it says the explosion is parented to my null, which means the explosion is going to be is going to stay stuck to the null as it moves throughout. So it's kind of hard to see. We'll we can scale it up here. Uh, as for scale, all right. So I'm, I'm tracked it to my null. I so as I'm scrubbing through here, it's a little bit too feathered, but you get the gist. So as my clip is moving around, we could actually move this out to here just to get a better idea. So I'm moving around with the camera, but the explosion is staying still because we've tracked it to that knoll right up here next to the base of the tree. So this has been 3D Camera Tracker and After Effects with Man Behind the Cannon. Subscribe this tutorial was helpful, feel free to drop any questions below in the comment section, and until next time.